Okay, let's play a game of Blitz, so 3 minutes, 22.13, good luck. Okay, it's not a new account. But we equally, we haven't played before either, no head head score. Just develop. Okay, we're going to try and charge for the center. Okay, let's try and match that. Okay, comes down, logical. So the bishop does actually hang there. We've got queen up, which I don't really like, so I'm just going to take. Hmm. I'm going to go here instead because knight and we can still take but I don't want the queen in the firing line of the rook there we're trying to kind of half guard but not easy I'm going to shuffle back and give myself the option of queen across okay bishop down so queen over we're going to lose a pawn takes takes not too clever either, but hmm, that's a tremendous move actually, isn't it? Let's drop the bishop back. It takes probably the pawn, but I could go with the bishop and then drop back if you don't trade. Okay, plays h6. Or do we want to take? I don't think we do. Let's play a queen across and off of that trade. Okay, now with a queen off, it's a little bit less risky if we take with a bishop and break the pawn structure up a bit. It's still dubious, but can we just push on then? Take, take. Hmm. I'm going to actually push on there because it feels risky to just leave it. But I might be proven wrong, of course. But I'm going to hope I can build a little chain and that this doesn't implode my position. Knight up or knight back and cover, something like that. And then obviously we're going to see the pawn come forward. It's whether I can guard or not. But knight in. And it's a nice little nuisance move and bring the other knight round. Um, or do I push on? No, that's no good. Let's just double the knights up. Yeah, double the rooks up. But yeah, I could have done with the other knight there and keeping this one here to come forward. Let's try and stop this knight jumping in and bring the king up maybe. Okay, that's a nice move. Um, knight back is no good. We lose the pawn, so drop right back. But at some point there might be a trick to take if my rooks are suddenly undoubled. Something that's really easy to miss. Otherwise I'm just going to try and bring the king up. But again, you can imagine the rooks suddenly come across and the king's in the firing line. Okay, that's what he's aiming for here. So do I have to do this and sack a pawn? Hmm. I'm going to try and break this structure at the risk of the knight getting in. Okay, let's take. Let's come back and hit this pawn again. I know the knight covers right now, but it's potential. Other knight round. But how do I get my king across? One, two, three. I don't see how I get my king actually over. Hmm. I might have to just push and hope for the best. We might have to just try and push the pawn, but now we actually three attack it and two defend, so. Um, oh, I can't take. What am I doing? I have to take first, then I can take. Unless he goes with the knight. Okay, but now I can take, right? Oh, but we lose our pawn anyway. Although I've got check, but then that's covered. You just take our pawn. Now see, check is covered. Oh, he's allowed that. He's allowed check in here. Well, he could have just taken, but I can't actually protect it anywhere. So I'll just check and collect. Okay, but now... King up. Why is all that guff coming on the screen?
Yeah, the king needs to be this side. Oh, my opponent's getting low on time. Actually, I didn't realise quite how low they were. 20 seconds. I need to throw some checks in just to try and use their time slightly. It's just a draw, isn't it? Okay, we get a draw well played. Okay, we flip the camera so we can now import the game into Lee Chess and see what we Played in engine language, so let's copy that. We'll jump onto Lee Chess, tools and import, request and analysis. It's already running here. Oh, we've blundered it away a couple of times, so we've messed up the opening. Plus 10. Ooh, I've just gone on the wrong square. How did I miss that? Because he can't guard the pawn. It's just a simple win. I mean, you couldn't get it more simple. I drop back instead of going here, and you have to move and concede the pawn. Ooh, that's annoying because I've done it twice. I've done something twice. So here I should have gone back here, but that would just repeat, wouldn't it? Yeah, it was still the right thing to do, though. So just messed up the ending. At least, at least I wasn't worse. But it's not good. So 81% versus 82%, 32 and 32. And we must have a blunder here as well when we're plus 3.3. Oh, why didn't I do that? I just didn't see, just pushing the pawn up. That's very poor, isn't it? But otherwise, we were basically level. A couple of chances to win, and we've messed it up, and it's been a flatline level. So it is what it is.